The sponsor of today's video is PCBWay. If you have any projects that you want to get done and or assembled, then PCBWay is going to be a great choice. I've been using them for the past couple years and by far one of the best services I've used, whether you're a hobbyist and or professional alike. So definitely check the links down below. In today's video, we're taking a look at an all new video transmitter from Rush FPV called the Solo Tank. Now, this is literally a tank. And if we take a closer look at it, it's completely encased in an aluminum shield slash heatsink. And completely, I mean, you can't get into it at all. So this serves a couple purposes. One, you'll have extra weight. However, your overall heat dissipation on high output is going to be absolutely great. Now it does have a lot of warning labels here about make sure you're licensed and you know what you're supposed to be broadcasting at and how much you're supposed to be broadcasting at. And also one more thing, never forget to put the antenna before you actually boot this thing. So let's take a look at some of the accessories. We'll get a little bit more deeper into that right now. So we get a right angle MMCX to an SMA, and I think you could get RP SMA if you wanted to as well. Now, this I actually love, which is a right angle MMCX. Now, there's one company that for the life of it would never figure this out, which was AKK back then. And you also do have a pigtail in case you haven't purchased any antennas yet. This will get you covered temporarily until you can get yourself a proper antenna to install it here. And these do come in the package. And we also do have a connector. Unfortunately, there's no way to solder onto this guy other than using the connector. And as you can tell right here, the connector should theoretically have a clip to keep it in place, but the connector provided is just a normal type. So not a big deal, but you just know you have that option maybe um, in a later version, or maybe I have a pre-production model. I have no idea just yet. But anyways, you get this right here. So there are a couple interesting features that they're stating here. One is it doesn't bleed to other channels. That's one thing. Another thing, they're using a high quality microphone or what they're calling a high quality microphone, probably one of the best microphones you could probably get on a video transmitter, which again is really nice. And the buttons here act both as an LED and uh, they're basically rubber. And you can hear how satisfying that sounds when I click it. And if we put it in a frame, it's going to be really simple to click that button if you're using buttons, by the way, instead of having to get your nail or a screw to kind of come and press that button. So we don't have to deal with that. And that's a really nice touch here where how it acts as both an LED and a button at the same time. Now, this thing does have a 5 volt output, so it would be kind of really great for wings. And if you didn't have a 5 volt output for some reason uh, to power up your camera, you could easily do that from there. And for the data pin, they're actually using smart audio. So that's where your smart audio would go in order to control it through your beta flight on screen display. Uh, DC input again, it's 7 to 36 volts, which is really nice. And it's saying it has some sort of a dual filter design. So that's kind of a nice protection feature against uh, video noise. So it's nice to, to know that we have that kind of feature. However, let's just say you have your camera on battery voltage, which you should never do, and your camera has noise, uh, the filters won't do anything to help you there because that, that'll be coming straight from the camera into your video feed and it wouldn't be from the video transmitter. So keep that in mind. Now, I really can't say much other than that we know Rush FPV's reputation in video transmitters. And not only that, this does feel and look high quality. And best part of all, it's protected from crashes. And at the same time, it's going to be able to dissipate heat much better than almost anything on the market, especially with 800 milliwatt output power. And you have all the features from pit mode 25, 100, just about everything you want here up to 800 milliwatts which is pretty, pretty insane. And well, that's really it, guys. I'll have a link down below if I could find it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.